Seven weeks of strong New Zealand sun has absolutely destroyed my caravan awning. I tried patching it up, but it's like paper. It just keeps ripping. It's too easy. <laughs> too easy. Poke holes in it. Just like that. It just, it really is like paper now. So we're now trying to think of what do we need to replace this for winter. We've had a patch of decent rain and of course the hole is right over the door. Not the most convenient <laughs> spot for the hole is it? Hayden's leaning towards modifying a panel from his marquees if he can fit it in the railing. We had a storm move through last night and I could hear my awning rattling around thinking I really should get out of bed but I didn't. Desperately hoping that something wasn't damaging the caravan. So I got up this morning and this is what I found. So I've given up, I've taken it down, no longer have an awning. So I'm back to where I was a year ago. The hassle of getting in and out of the caravan when it's raining. Just means our plan for this section has jumped higher up the list. Hayden's taken off the covering for this door and we're going to upgrade this area a little bit more. Make it all the way along here and I want, I want to paint the wood so it just ties in more with the cabin and hopefully this one will do for the next couple of years till we can move into the house. After that we somehow need to connect the caravan to the cabin again. <laughs> Back to, I feel like we had this problem last autumn trying to figure out what to do for winter. A lot bigger than before. I was just starting to think, it's funny, I kind of wanted this initially planned to have something like this on the other side, but it gets too windy or it's too hot on the other side, so this is kind of the... And the caravan's on the side. Yeah, and the caravan's on the side. It's become the practical side. You got replaced by a little bit of metal and a screw. <laughs> you don't have to hold things anymore. You saying I'm not a very good worker, huh? <laughs> it's a bit bigger than previous. A bit bigger than previous. <laughs> and a little bit bigger than previous planned. <laughs> oh, I just. <laughs> I'll just put an extra five sheets and that'll do. <laughs> oh my god, that's like quite big. <laughs> the whole length now. You're coming out, 
you're coming out when I'm going down the ladder and then back up again. <laughs> I know, my timing's shit. <laughs> Now it's my turn to contribute towards this mini project. I'm gonna paint it dark gray to match around the windows and I think it'll just make it look a little bit smarter. I've managed the, the first two beams, leaving this underside to the end because it's the fiddly bit. I've already managed to get a little bit of paint on the side of the cabin but I think overall it'll make it look really good. I love this new extension so so much and it just it just I must admit painting it the dark grey was a good call it just feels part of the cabin completely Hayden did such a good job building this and again this is just a temporary structure it can just be easily unscrewed from the cabin and dismantled it's not even in the ground so things still to do I just need to paint but underneath there it's just I actually ran out of paint <laughs> completely ran out of paint and I need to paint this side of the pole too as you guys saw when I painted I did not put down primer or any base coat first so we'll see how long it lasts and now what do we do to keep out of the rain when we exit the caravan now that the caravan awning is completely destroyed I've saved the old awning strip that fits in the awning rails so all we need to do is attach some type of waterproof canvas or plastic onto this and possibly temporarily attach it to the wooden structure up there and that could be a, a good solution easy to disconnect so that I can still caravan sometime in the future. <laughs> so that's kind of what we're thinking right now. It's still summer so there's no huge huge rush. And then the next question is what do we do on the ground? I don't really want to leave it just this pumice because people walk it into the cabin it's just a never-ending housework job. <laughs> I don't really want gravel because when Reese does reach the stage of wandering, walking out here, I can already imagine him putting it all in his mouth. <laughs> Considered putting down some more fake grass. Haven't ruled that out. That's p potentially the cheapest option. I managed to find these tiles for one dollar and trade me. Haven't found that deal again. Would be amazing to have some tiles down here but I don't know I think that might be too expensive but I guess we could put them down and then shift them later on maybe so what are some other options <laughs> what could work in this area 